everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at installing the Pixel Experience ROM based off Android 10 on our beloved Nexus 6P here. It's been a while since one of these videos. Uh, so we'll be going over you know, some downloads and uh, the steps to install the Pixel Experience uh, Android 10 build uh, on our Nexus 6P. And I'll also be going over what you need to do if you have the boot loop of death. And what that is, is basically uh, since our phone is 8 cores, octa-core, the big cluster of cores uh, on some Nexus 6Ps have stopped working, uh, resulting in your phone unable to boot as it tries to use those cores. Uh, so what the, I guess, the patches for the boot loop of death is to reduce our phone from using 8 cores to only using 4 cores. So we're limited to the 4 smaller cores, it still gets the job done. So I'll show you how to install this ROM. Uh, if you have the boot loop of death. So you can only use four cores, and I'll also show you how to use it normally if your phone doesn't have any problems, like mine. So just keep your ears open for when you need to do what, and I'll also have instructions on the screen as well, uh, in case we need those, but I think the first thing we need to download is the ROM itself. And everything pretty much works. Uh, SE Linux is in permissive in this October build, and it has been like that since the beginning. Uh, post number two has installation instructions, and post number three has these extra files, uh, which some of you will need. So let's go back up to the top here and download from their website. So over here, I already have that open, but anyways, we need to expand the Android 10 section. You can click on this here, and then click on the latest build, which is the one on the 15th of October. So the first link, click on that, and then click on download, and just save this uh, in one folder, everything together. And the next thing we need to download is um, the TWRP that we need to use, the special one with FBE uh, file-based encryption support. You can't use the original TWRP, the TWRP from Pixel Experience Pi. You must use this one that's in the third post. So this is when you need to download the right one for your phone. If your phone doesn't have any problems turning on right now and you don't know what the boot loop of death is or you don't have it, you just need to download the original FBE recovery, TWRP. If you um, can only use four cores, so you have the boot loop of death, you need to download the one that is four cores only. And of course, you also need to download a patched or pre-patched boot image. You'll need to download this if you also have the boot loop of death. So what these look like, they're just Google Drive links and you can just download them. And uh, I've already downloaded both of these files. And last thing we need or that you might want is the latest version of Magisk. It should support Android 10 uh, with the A only system, so ROMs that have been ported to the 6P and 5X. So download the latest version here. Uh, they're both version 20, but I download the one that's newer. If the beta version is newer, then download that one, but they're both the same right now. So just download Magisk as well. And these are the files that you should have. Uh, so the first thing is this boot image. I've renamed it to match the ROM uh, but this is the patched boot image for BLOD users. So the boot loop of death, four cores in this boot image. Uh, Magisk that we'll flash later. The ROM itself and the TWRP FBE that is made for Android 10. And of course the one that only has four cores as well. So I'll let you know which one to flash, but I think you'll probably already know most of it. So let's go ahead and install this to our phone. And the first thing we should do is copy it over to our phone, which makes sense. So let's go over to our, our phone here. Keep in mind, you will have to wipe your data for this installation. So if you need to back up anything like photos, music, uh, apps, and all that, please do that before you go ahead and install, uh, because yes, uh, we will need to wipe our device, uh, including the internal storage. So we need to copy these files to our phone. So we're just gonna hit up file transfer, head back over to our computer here. And the 6P action has come up on the side open up the internal shared storage. You can see I have some leftover stuff that I'm just going to delete on my phone just to make things easier. Okay, so let's copy over the, the ROM. Now this already has Google Apps in, or included in the ROM as it says on the ROM thread. So let's leave that to copy over and we'll also copy over uh, the TWRP image because we can install these images inside of TWRP. So you can pretty much download everything on your phone. Uh, there's no problem with that. 
Okay, next is the TWRP image. I'm going to copy both of them, but you should have just downloaded one. And this boot image, this special one with only four cores for the boot loop of death users, uh, you'll also need to copy this over. Uh, and you don't need this if your phone runs perfectly fine using the eight cores, okay? So don't worry about that. We won't copy over Magisk because I'll be installing this after the first boot, which means after we wipe our internal storage. So I won't bother copying that just yet, but it's good to have on hand. And I think it's good for us to reboot into the recovery mode. So let's go over to our phone here, since we won't need anything else. So let's reboot our phone into the recovery mode. You can tap on restart, recovery, and just let that do its thing. If you don't have that option, you're not on a custom ROM or anything, uh, what you can do is press restart and hold volume up until your phone kind of boots up. So keep holding volume up if you don't have that reboot to recovery option. Or alternatively, you can use ADB to reboot your phone into recovery mode. Now this should boot us into TWRP. Okay, perfect. Uh, you may have to decrypt your data partition. So that's when you enter in your pattern or passcode to get into the screen so we can look at our SD card. Let's start off by installing the TWRP image, the new one. So what we need to do is tap on install image down here. And once you scroll down, you'll see all the images that you can install. Now you need to install the FBE TWRP that they have provided. And if you have four cores or you are suffering from the boot loop of death, you need to install the four core version. But if you're not, just install the normal one. I'll install the four core one just as a demonstration. And we need to select this as the recovery partition. This is where we want to flash this image. And we can swipe to confirm flash. And you can see that's done that. Why don't we uh, go back here? That's good. And let's reboot our phone into the recovery mode just so we can use our new recovery. And what we can do here now is install the ROM. So let's tap on install, scroll down, and we'll see the pixel experience ROM here. Tap on that and swipe to confirm flash. And you can tell everything's a little bit more sluggish. So that's how you can kind of tell that you're using the four core version of the TWRP recovery. Uh, so yours will probably install a bit faster than mine since this is only using four cores. But as you can see that this is installing just fine right now. So we'll just wait for this to finish flashing. Okay, so we're finished now. And for boot loop of death users, we need to do one more thing. Uh, and of course, for those who are installing the ROM normally, they need to wait up as well. So for BLOD users, you need to tap on install image again and go and find that boot image that you copied over earlier that you also downloaded from the um, XDA thread. So tap on that and then tap on boot and swipe to confirm flash. We need to do this after we flash the ROM uh, so that it replaces the boot image that was installed by the ROM. Now, of course, you don't need to do this if you don't have the boot loop of death. And the last thing we need to do, so everyone uh, will need to do before they reboot, is to wipe their internal storage. So let's go to wipe, format data, type in yes, and confirm that. And that'll format our device just as it is, which is good. And now we can reboot our system. So this might take a while, this first boot, which is expected. Uh, it's going to take even longer for us four core BLOD users. Uh, since we only have half of the resources available for booting up. So this might take a little while and just don't worry about that because uh, that's just how it is. And it is also recommended that after installing the ROM, wait a little bit uh, for your phone to cool down so that it it's not thermal throttling while you try and set up your device. And this boot screen is already looking pretty promising right now. Uh, that's the new one that you see on the pixels. So I'll let this boot up and I'll let you know how long it took for us four core users. And for those with the full eight cores available, you can probably just halve that time. So I'll fast forward this until we boot into Android. Okay, so our phone has turned back on and it's now the setup screen. Let's see how warm it is. Not bad, not bad, not warm at all. Probably because I'm only using four cores, but anyways, Let's go through this. So you can see it's just the regular setup screen and you can do that running like a pixel phone. So let's just go through the setup process in a breeze. Okay, so that's finished and we're booted up. Everything looks pretty good. So we have the Play Store, uh, not the camera, 
as far as I can tell, and we probably have the Messages and Phones app, Contacts, and Chrome and Google Photos, of course. This is looking pretty good. Let's check out some Android 10 features while we're at it. So the new privacy thing is here, as well as dark theme, which will look pretty good on the 6P here. There it is. And let's go down to the bottom and change our gestures to use that new gesture navigation. A little bit buggy, but I'm sure maybe, maybe that was just the settings app. Yes, okay. Everything looks pretty good from here. So I think the last thing we need to try and do is install Magisk on our phone. And what we can do here is pretty much copy over Magisk to our phone. So I can do that here or in the recovery. It might be easier in the recovery. So I'm going to reboot our phone into the recovery. So I'm going to hold volume up right now, and this should get our phone into the recovery mode. We can let go as soon as the screen kind of turns on. So we can let go here, and it should boot into TWRP. Okay, so this thing is about keeping the system read-only. Uh, we can do either one. I'm just going to swipe to allow modifications. And now we should be able to access our internal storage if I bring back the computer. There we are, and it's very empty, which is good. Let's drag in Magisk. There we go. Let's head back to our phone here, and let's tap on Install and find Magisk and install that. Okay, and once we're done, we can just restart the phone and let's not install the TWRP app. And hopefully this will allow us to gain root access. Uh, I read that it should work, but we'll check it out as we go here. And we should see Magisk Manager pop up, which is good. Let's open that up. And let's bask in how up to date we are. Well, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, but at least it says that Magisk is installed, the latest version, along with the latest version of Magisk Manager. And from here, we can also hide all sorts of things from detection, which is awesome. So there we go. This is the Pixel experience um, based off Android 10 for the Nexus 6P. Uh, you know, old but alive and kicking very well with the latest version of Android, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, there we go. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave it down below in the comment section. I'll try my best to help you out. Uh, but even better yet, feel free to join us on Discord uh, where we can chat about all sorts of things as well as a good place for you to ask questions. It's just much easier responding to you guys in that fashion. Uh, but if you do have questions about the ROM itself or things aren't working particularly well on the ROM, unfortunately, I'm not the best place to ask that. I would recommend that you go back and check out the ROM thread and search through that and also probably leave a message there if you don't find it after searching uh, because I didn't make this wrong. So that's it for this video guys. If you like what you saw, feel free to leave a like down below, get subscribed, and as always, happy flashing.